Welcome. Today we are going to talk about our last day as homeowners on our first day as full-time RVers. So welcome back everybody. I'm so glad to see you again. But if this is your first visit, I'm Alice. And I'm Larry. And we are Downsizing Makes Sense like the penny because we downsized, sold our home, sold most of our stuff, and we're trying to save all those pennies. We are 50 something empty nesters that moved into the fifth wheel that you see right behind us. And we are trying to live life more deliberately, especially with our little pups that you might see over there in the door. So come along and see what we got doing, going today, which is... Okay, so we're gonna go through our last day as homeowners. Just a couple of things like starting off at the closing company and going through the closing, we come back to the house, you know, Alice works on getting all that junk that we put in the RV. <laughs> she, has, she has to find a place to stick everything. And Tetris. Then just basically packing the cabinets yes. and nailing things down so that we could get on the road. I, in the meantime, headed off my last trip to storage and went to the dump and Goodwill and stuff like that. And then we're going to finish it off with um, driving away from the house and driving mm. into uh, Wakiva Spring State Park for the very first time as our first Four. day is full time. Full time RV living. Here we are driving through downtown Delan on our way to the title office to sign the paperwork to close on the house. It's an amazing little town and it's won many awards. We hope to come back and visit this sweet little town very soon. Walking into the title company. This is it, baby. Ready to rock? This is it, baby. No backing out now. <laughs> that, was <good. laughs> that was hilarious. Okay, here we are at the closing and we're here with Missy. And, uh, we just did the paperwork. Signed everything. I have the keys. And so, what time is it? You guys are officially RVing it. Congratulations. It's crazy. Awesome. Thanks very much, Missy. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Hopefully everything will go good tomorrow and we'll be ready to rock, right? You got it. Awesome. Hey, see you in a bit. Okay, here I have the last truckload of stuff. This is mostly uh, empty containers and just some junk that was left at the house that I've got to get rid of, if, uh, you know, because the new owners aren't going to want this stuff. So I'm headed off to Goodwill and then the dump. Here we are going to Goodwill. I've probably made this trip a hundred times in the last uh, couple of months and just dropping off that stuff. Now the rest of the stuff is going off to the dump. This is going into our, our county dump area where you basically you have to go in and get weighed and then um, you go in and take your stuff to the dump. But for household garbage, you don't have to actually pay that much. I think it was eight bucks. And here I am just, you know, tossing all the stuff from the back of the truck. It's so nice just to have this last load and that's be it before uh, we get on the road. But uh, I did this dump trip many times while downsizing. Okay. okay, I just wanted to give one last kind of tour of the storage unit. You can see this is the 10 by 15 non-climate controlled unit. You can see I've got it pretty full. Um, but I think that we're definitely gonna scour this a couple more times and uh, definitely uh, figure out a way to whittle it down a little bit. But you can see I pretty much got every nook and cranny of this, every nook and cranny of this particular storage unit pretty full. But so there's the non-climate controlled unit and I'm gonna walk over to the climate controlled one now. The lighting probably really sucks here, but you can see I've actually got a lot of room in the climate controlled side. Uh, mostly just like cardboard boxes and furniture underneath. I've got these short shelves organized really nice and neatly for stuff that we need to get to in the next few months as we kind of figure out what we're gonna keep in the RV. And then just some stuff at the back. But the important thing here is to have access to everything and have a space in the middle so that you can get to everything. What I've learned before is that if you don't create a space to get to your stuff, sure enough, the thing that you really want is in the back under eight boxes and there's just no way to get to it. So if you're gonna use storage, you gotta be really uh, careful about how you pack things away and uh, kind of put the things that you think you might need and make them accessible. One thing really helps is to have a shelving unit like this. It's, 70 bucks or something like this for the shelving unit and it was money well spent. So that's the inside storage, the climate controlled storage. 
on our last day as we are headed off to our first campground full time. Okay, before I can hitch up the RV, I've got to put the BMW hitch in the back of the truck. Now, like I did before in the other video, I used this little rolling table and a dolly to help me move it into place. The BMW hitch is in two pieces. The bottom piece is extremely heavy and hard to move. But I'm just taking care to make sure I lock it into place, get it locked down, and then put the top piece on. Now, there's two little rubber things um, there. I'm putting a little bit of lithium grease on to kind of help lube those so that it works properly as we travel down the road. Okay, here we are. Saying goodbye to the house. Just saying goodbye, honey. I don't know, 23 years almost, it's pretty good. Bye, house, you've been awesome. Okay, this is it. We no longer own a home. It's a strange feeling. I thought I would cry. Larry definitely teared up. When it really hit me was at the title office. And then later when we did our celebration video. Okay, on the way to our first campground in Wakabi Springs, we're gonna go and weigh the truck in the RV. We had packed so much stuff into the RV, we were concerned that we might be overweight. So we find this app called the Catscale Locator. You go in there and you find a location either near where you're going or on your route um, to where you're going. And it will tell you the different locations. Here we are in the app telling me to go to the Zellwood truck stop. Alice was following behind me. And you can see we're pulling in here into the uh, Catscale. You got to make sure when you pull in, you put the steer axles on a scale, the drive axles for the truck on a scale, and the trailer axles on a scale and then you'll hit this intercom button and they'll do a weight and then what I do is I pull up and I'm going to park the RV and then I'm going to detach the truck and come back and weigh again and then I'm just going to weigh the steer axles and the drive axles on the truck so here we got steer axle drive axle and trailer axle and we'll need these three measurements for the next step Okay, when I go to take my rig to the cat scales to get weighed, I need to know a couple of things first. I'm going to go to the sticker on the side of my RV, and I'm going to need to know my GVWR here, which for me is 15,000 pounds. That's the entire weight of the RV and all the contents can't be more than 15,000 pounds. And the GAWR of each axle can't be more than 7,000 pounds each. So that's 14,000 pounds over the axles. Now go to my cat scale here. So we have one, this one right here is the truck and RV weighed together. And this one is the truck weighed alone. And for this video, we're just going to focus on the gross weights. So here we have the gross weight of the truck and the RV uh, together. And over here we have the gross weight of just the truck. Okay, so to figure out that number, I want to know that what the weight of the RV and the and uh, is alone. So we have to take the 23,740 minus the 9,000 and it comes out to 14,740. So I'm within that weight there. So so I'm good to go on. I'm just in with the weight, but like 250 pounds, 260 pounds. So the other one I want to know is the trailer axle. So my trailer axle is because I went to a cat's go work and I just weighed the trailer axle is 11,560. And if you saw from the first thing, so my trailer axle can be 7,000 pounds each, which is 14,000 pounds. So I'm good on my trailer axles. And for, for this video, that's all I really wanted to focus on. Later on, I'm going to do a video where I go through and calculate all the numbers from this form that B&W Hitches has and, and calculates to make sure I'm with all my numbers on both the truck and the RV. But for this video, um, that's all we're going to focus on. As always, we appreciate every single visit and all your feedback, whether it's positive or even negative. This closes one chapter. No, actually one book and opens another. We hope you continue to travel with us as we live and learn and definitely make mistakes as full-time RVers. So if you want to see more, subscribe and ring the notification bell. It's actually free. And remember, downsizing does make sense.